four people were killed last evening after a quarry collapsed at Nkinyanga Kangeta area in Igembe Central in Meru County. While seven others escaped in heart, while one minor is nursing injuries following the incident. Witnesses at the site said there were more than 12 workers at the quarry when the tragedy occurred. They were reportedly digging up sand for road construction when the walls of the quarry collapsed, trapping them in the pit. A team of rescuers, the police and the public sifted through the rubble using a tractor in search of survivors. Out of the 12, four were killed, one was found alive and rushed to hospital, while seven others managed to escape. Area member of the county assembly, Romano Mugambi, and local member of parliament, Kubai Kilingo, who visited the scene, sent condolences to those who lost their relatives in the incident. <laughs> The leaders challenged the National Environmental Management Authority to educate and advise minors on the safety procedures in order to reduce such tragedies. A look now at what's happening in Washington and in relation to Kenya, where the U.S. President Barack Obama announced yesterday that Kenya will be among one of the four countries in Africa where a Center for Young African Leaders Initiative, or YALI, will be set up. Right, and the program was launched by Obama to mentor and train young Africans through a six-week course. Now, this year's forum was attended by 500 successful applicants, 46 of them from Kenya. Back home, students from different universities had a chance to listen to Obama's address at this year's forum live at the U.S. Embassy in Gigiri. Now, I, I do have a first item of business. As I said, I launched this fellowship in Soil, not far from the original home of Nelson Mandela. And the spirit of this program reflects Madiba's optimism, his idealism, his belief in what he called the endless heroism of youth. And so today, with the blessing of the Mandela family, to whom we're so grateful, uh, we are proud to announce uh, that the new name of this program is the Mandela Washington Fellowship. It's so important that we, we get in, integrated into the system so that we can help the, the entire Africa and also the rest of the world because there are a lot of things that are affecting us right now and we would really, really need to get involved so that we help our governance system to put things that can help the society at their hands. Almost 10% of the young leaders that were in the forum came from Kenya. So I think it's acknowledging that there's a robust leadership in the country. And I think it's a great opportunity for us who are here in Kenya who cannot be able maybe to make it to the US or to the other programs that you can be able to integrate at the ground and get the skills and get the expertise. My disappointment is that I didn't expect uh, the kind of questions that they were asking to come out. I expected more serious questions uh, since uh, we can't talk about development when we are having a lot of uh, instability in Africa. Well, Yali chats continue on a regular basis on Twitter, and so if you're logged on, do check out uh, for when they do appear. To Isiolo now, where police this morning seized two pieces of ivory with a street value of 1.5 million shillings, three rifles, and 11 rounds of ammunition. Three people were arrested in connection with the items after a contingent of KWS officers raided their home following a tip-off. Speaking at the Isiolo police station, County Commissioner Wanyama Musiambo said the tasks belong to an elephant that was killed in Oldoniro area and the suspects have been on the run since. Kazi inaendelea katika sehemu ya Oldoniro. Operation inaendelea kuhakikisha wale wote wana walihusika na hii kazi na wale wamekuwa wakiuzika na hii mambo kama haya wote tuna NASA na wote wanapelekwa kotini kwa mujibu wa sheria ya nchi hii Elsa police in Marekani Cliffy County intercepted a saloon car laden with 360 kilogram bang, uh, of bang yesterday. According to Kaloleni deputy OCPD, police officers manning the roadblock at the Magia Chumvi were tipped off late after two male occupants of the saloon car abruptly stopped by the roadside and walked away from the vehicle. But he 
Chunguzi tunaendelea sasa tuna matumaini tutaweza kupata washukiwa ambao tunaweza kuwapeleka kotini from marijuana to technology, the government has pledged to set up security measures in its fight against cyber crimes. The Communications Authority of Kenya Director, General Francis Wangusi, told KTN that they're in the process of setting up a joint cyber command center that will serve all government ministries. This, he says, will help isolate cases of hacking into government personnel accounts and websites as has been witnessed in the past two weeks. Those are wake-up calls, and, and, and because, uh, uh, just as I've said uh, in the previous uh, cases, you know, each ministry was hosting its own website, and uh, the amount of security uh, uh, mechanisms put around it to protect the websites were varying from one ministry to the other. And of course, we discovered there was a lot of vulnerabilities arising from that. So the single most important thing we have done is to bring the websites together under one house and to be able to have a framework through which you know access to the government websites can be monitored and uh, of course any, 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 any vulnerabilities if detected can be worked on uh, as quickly as possible. And you know as the Eid public holiday began it was an extended weekend for others. Right, in Kisumu, a group of artists have found a way to promote their talent. Now, they entertain guests at the popular Hippo Point free of charge. Katie and Fredo Mulo spent the day with them, and here is his story. Hippo Point has for a long time been the Kisumu version of a public beach. On weekends, residents drive down here to socialize and absorb vistas that one of the world's largest freshwater lakes has to offer. And it is this audience that Kisumu artists are targeting all at no cost. Singers, dancers, poets and comedians vie for a place to entertain the public, a strategy that aims at bolstering the nascent entertainment industry in the region. This is the best, best platform that uh, we've had right now because uh, we're giving youth that, uh, that chance so that they can showcase what they have. We have it uh, every fortnight and uh, we do the free shows because we want to promote the artists in Kisumu. We are performing free because we are passionate about the art that is in us. And uh, we feel that if that's the, the social and, uh, responsibility that we are given, then we'll ut utilize it to the maximum. For a long time, Hippo Point was a neglected patch next to the lake. In the aftermath of the post-election violence, an increase in returnees who settled in the city slowly evolved the viewpoint into a social place where people could relax after a busy week. I come here to watch them. Like They've been performing many places at La Savannah Hotel. And yeah, I really enjoy their music because most of the time they pass a message to the people. The youths are just there lying. When they started this thing, they just it was their own initiative. They decided to do this kind of event instead of involving in other kinds of activities. It's a good thing because uh, Kisomo has a lot of talent that is untapped and this is a very good platform for them like, to showcase whatever they got and uh, be also exposed out there. With the death of entertainment sports where they can hone their skills and earn some money, Kisumu's artists have added a twist to the tale of Hippo Point from which they hope to scale new heights. Fredo Mulo, KTN, Kisumu City. Right, time to wrap up and go out and uh, enjoy the rest <laughs> of what is left of our Eid. <laughs> okay. Um, did you know, I have two did you know facts today. Mm -hmm. These are actually important. Mm -hmm. Well, the Let's first one is, did you know, also, have you ever wondered why in supermarkets, when you really just want bread, you have to walk across yeah, and the entire alone, supermarket? And yeah, water, yeah, this is done on purpose because, did you know, dairy products and other essentials, so we're talking about things like bread, are usually found in the bark yeah, of the supermarkets. Yeah, yeah, they're placed there so that customers like Bonnie Ting and myself will walk through the whole store to find them and markets hope to entice impulse purchase by doing this. It's very clever, isn't Today it? Today I'll just walk in and go straight for the milk. I'll tell them I know what you you're really doing won't. 
because yeah. you walk into the supermarket and you'll get distracted by all the things that are there. The colonas you're saying. For me, it's usually crisps. I'm like, oh, fuck it of crisps. <laughs> Did you also know there's a game in Russia? Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to find it. There's a Russian game show where contestants steal cars. If they're not caught by the police after 35 minutes, then they get to keep the cars. It's a game I want to play. What is Did the purpose what, what of this make game? Car you want to steal? Poor guy whose car gets stolen in a random game show, and does he get to reclaim it? I like it? that. I can use that. <laughs> well, that one is useless, but the first one you could definitely use. My name is Edith Kimani. Good afternoon, and Eid Mubarak. My name is Bonitunya, Eid Mubarak.